Yeah, this is Lot. Yeah, this your boy Left. And right now you watching the Hyphy show, we the front line. What is it? Now somebody told me not to rep the bank. Why not? This is where I stay. They said that we was dead and stuck in the grave and living off songs we made. So all my things is going to start turning pages and they froze the fact that they still in the shit. But I ain't talking about popping collars and slang when they're talking about the move they made to make it. All this makes it difficult because you probably thought that started with me for sure in space. We all entrepreneurs, we all doing our thing. Pray niggas ain't no pups and some people popping out of the trunk. Partner. And don't think we don't see the relationship It's taste and consolation Say how you come out here on our radio station And say you love the baby can't the place And that's so good That's good Hey, hey, that's good Hey, that's good And if you ain't from the bank, now you're right What's up, this your girl Malika Live With you on the Hyphy Show I done got up with the boys front line as you know, Frontline is like in the front line of this whole Bay Area movement. You've seen them do that thing tonight at Loft 11. We wanted to get up with them and find out what's going on with the new project. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Tell me. Now, what's going on though, man? We've been blessed. We just got the MTV Jam of the Week. Um, we're working on our next album, Lock and Left. And um, we probably going to put it out at the top of the year. That depends on if we go in to say independent. Or if we sign with a major. For all y'all that's trying to sign with majors and don't understand it, it's not about signing with a major, it's the deal that you get. So there's a lot of people that can sign with majors but don't do it because they got you know a little more business savvy. So sometimes it's more indicative to stay independent than it is to sign with a major and just get shared. So with that said though, you know what I mean? We're just working on making good music, man. You can't you can't like we were just talking about it, this brother with the camera in his hand. You in order to to survive, you have to have quality product, and you just can't you can't live off buzz alone. You know, wow. and we have to have quality products, and we're just trying to do our part to add that to the bank. Niggas is really good, they're really up in their middle, man. I'm in the middle with trying to give me up. Everybody tickle with that, and them niggas giving man. I thought they just really want to get rid of man, but I'm not a bitch about listening. They be little man. Shit, I just think they're naked and in the jack. Put it in my lyrics and spit it back in my inner man. This is all small. Put it out there a few times, like y'all, y'all got the Bay movement back rolling. Y'all claiming that, right? Yeah. Sort of like, okay, yeah. yeah. So, tell me how you feel about the whole Mike Hyphy movement. Where we at with it, and, and where you see it going in the future? Well, the way I see it is that shouldering. Shouldering. All right. This <laughs> is what I see. I see, and and you know, and people that know our history know that we ain't never been ones to run away from nothing, and we're not really ashamed of ruffling feathers. So, you know. Um, like when we first came out, we was telling everybody that the Bay need new blood. Or the Bay needs to resurface and reemerge with a new style, new sound. You know what I'm saying? To reinvent itself, not with just new artists, but with a whole new idea of how to approach getting back in the game. Yeah. And you know, it pissed a few people off, but you know, we still here. So, not going well, nowhere. They here to stay. I said the only is the new shit. The way I see what's going on with the hyphy movement, man, I, I think that if it, if we as a Bay Area just focusing on just the hyphy movement, we're going to drown. Because the Bay Area, if you live out here, you know that the Bay Area is bigger than just that one thing. It's multifaceted. You got everybody. And, and, and then, you know, you got dudes in Richmond that's like, man, I don't do hype. I do this. You got dudes in Frisco that say they don't do that. They do this. So I think the best way to promote the Bay is to be a multifaceted Bay Area to show them that we are a market, not just a thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that works for the South because they got a lot of niggas in the South. And they got states and, states and states and states and states and states of black people to support black artistry. We don't have that many in the Bay. It's about 
what is about 5% of the people in the Bay Area is black. And of that 5%, probably 1.5 is young. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about it, man. We can't be, we are, we, are, we are more diverse market. So for the Bay Area, for the new up and coming artists, like the ones that come up to us all the time, they hit us on MySpace and all that stuff, and they can attest to this, man. We give them the real, and we tell them to be themselves, man. If we be ourselves and represent the Bay, we'll be good. Frontline is in the building, you know, the front runners, the headliners of the Bay Area. You know, they've been putting it down. They styling. I was peeping out their whole fits, their tennis shoes, the Levi's with the rag, the Mohawk. Man, Frontline is doing it. Make sure you keep it locked on Hyphy Show, hyphy.podshow.com. Frontline, it's your girl Malika, Hyphy Show, yee! Bay Area! Get down with the kitty.